Alright, it's uh, October 19th here, and it's dark outside, but uh, it's only, I don't know, 7 or 8 o'clock. I'm down here working on the shop. Uh, I'm kind of at a stall with the truck. I've got the Cummins block back, and I'm waiting on a crankshaft. Uh, that's the camshaft there. And the head's reconditioned there. I need to get the injection pump rebuilt. So I'm just kind of waiting on that. And I need to order some uh, gaskets and bearings and seals and things like that. But, uh, yeah, I got the, the one-ton dually in here again. I don't know. I lost a bunch of footage uh, <laughs> last Thursday night. Uh, last Thursday morning, I, uh, well, Wednesday night I went to bed and I heard the pump running and uh, I come down Thursday morning the barn's got three inches of water in it and uh, <laughs> oh, I happened to drop my phone in the water and then the worst part was I stepped on it and busted the screen so it doesn't even light up anymore so I end up getting this phone which is a LG something or other. I don't know. It's real comparable. I had a Samsung Galaxy 8 before and it did all right. But uh, this phone's supposed to be good for videos too. So anyhow, I've got uh, what was the blue truck. I got the brown cab on it. I got some cab lights wired up on the cab. Uh, I've got a hydro booster off of 99 and I did have footage doing that and it's gone uh, I think I had footage on there of putting the rear end together on that uh, but it's gone so <laughs> the rear ends in the truck uh, the rear differentials everything has got new bearings in it uh, New wheel bearings, new seals, new axle seals, new brakes. Uh, I think I used the old pads, but it's got new hardware and new slave cylinders. So everything there, it's pretty much ready to go. I need a motor and transmission, and the transmission is back there. I'm waiting on to get parts for the six cylinder Cummins. But tonight I'm working on this, uh, uh, somebody give us this winch. And I thought, you know, that'd be great. Mount that on the front of that, my flatbed trailer. Uh, it's an 18 foot. It's not a deck over, but it's a, a low trailer. The wheels, the axles and wheels, or the tires stick up through the deck, so... But it's long enough to get a pickup on, and that was what I wanted. So, And it's low enough to the ground that you can get something on it. But I needed a winch, and a friend of mine gave us this winch. Uh, the motor wouldn't even turn. But I got a problem. If I put this winch on this way, or with the lugs up, this oil fill fitting here is on the side or on the bottom so I need to change this front plate either up to here or 180 degrees which I think I have to change it 180 degrees because of the well holes and uh, that's just what I'm working on I've got this all kind of cleaned up it's not in great shape but it'll probably do for what I want the gears have got some rust on them and uh, I don't know it sat outside for a good while I had some water in it and we took it apart uh, but it's got a free spooling thing here you can unlock the, the drum and then this is a worm gear winch here so there's a worm in here that drives the big gear here 
and that won't freewheel so you have to drive that forward and reverse the only way to pay out cable is unlock it there and pull the cable off of it uh, it doesn't have any brakes on it anyhow so anyhow I'm going to turn that plate around and see if I can get it mounted up here so that I can put the rest of the gearbox together so all right I'll bring you back all right I got some I got some uh, I don't know it's high temperature permatex on there got the motor mounted up there and I wanted to make sure it run before I put this all together and I had never done, dealt with a reversing motor. I just kind of figured you grounded this and you could put the power to one or the other of these and make the motor run left or right. I'm apparently wrong. I didn't know that. I had to Google it. And you have to have a bank of four solenoids. If I put power here, this one needs connected to there and vice versa to make it run backwards so you need a four solenoid reversing pack which I'm gonna either have to build or buy but uh, yeah it does run it runs pretty good maybe <laughs> runs pretty neat this motor was rebuilt so I knew it was, uh, and the guy's, guy's a real good guy. He has an alternator shop here, and just the other side, other side of the Pennsylvania line, and he does a real nice job. So I didn't think it was screwed up. It was just me. So anyhow, I got it to running. Uh, I'm going to put these uh, ears on it here. I'll put a little bit of grease on this shaft because I can. And this one goes on here. And uh, there we go. I got snap rings to go in there and I need to put some grease on these and I'll probably put gear oil in the gearbox when I'm done but anyhow that's how that goes uh, let me see if it'll run with them gears on it see how it moves a little loud without any grease JC was talking about his a new F550. Apparently, the disengagement jaw, which he's got a hydraulic winch, has got that on it. It was froze up. <laughs> All, right, All right, let me get the snap rings on here and. Uh, Get some grease in these things and I'll, I'll bring you back. Alright, well, I, <laughs> I put the snap rings on and I put some grease on there and then uh, <laughs> I give it a, give it a spin and boy that was a mistake because it threw grease all over the place. So, I cleaned the cover up. And I put a little silicone on a new o-ring there and it's it's split here someplace but anyhow right there uh, I put silicone on so I can I didn't have one the right size so anyhow I'm gonna put the cover on and uh, maybe put a little gear oil on it uh, and get her running for the night I don't I don't I do have cable for it. It's up in the other shop. Uh, I want to talk about the 
combine. I've been running beans the last for the last week. Uh, been kind of uneventful. Uh, once we got the combine going and everything running right, and we took off uh, oh about 35 acres. And I got up here in the field behind the house and. I started blowing drive belts on the cylinder, so yesterday I thought I could just get a hardware store belt, and of course they didn't have one long enough, so I ordered last night, I ordered two new drive belts for the cylinder from Shoop, and we're waiting on them to come here probably tomorrow, so uh, that's why we're not working on the combine, but everything was running pretty well till I started blowing drive belts. And I think I got into some beans that were, uh, the beans were dry, like 12%, but the stems were still green, and it had a hard time with them chewing them up, and so we just quit. We couldn't even get her going yesterday with parts we had around here, so anyhow, I'm going to put the cover on this, and I think I'm going to call it a night, so, uh. Just wanted to let everybody know what was going on. I really like this new phone, and uh, thanks for watching. All right, <laughs> I just. Thanks for watching.